Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to discuss Isao Okano's very subtle but revolutionary detail, I should say, regarding Ashi Barai. So, we all know that he's one of the first Olympic champions, and looking at his 1964 footage, it's, it's very easy for him to compete in the level of today. His prowess, how he moved, how he threw, how he submitted... All of it was just insane and um, I think he gets very little credit and today we're gonna be looking at a detail of his Ashi Parai but before that please don't forget to check out my book The Origins and History of Judo a translation of the manuscript by Ryohei Uchida of 1903 available in English French and both bilingual with modern Japanese in order to help us understand and also apply it whenever we want to kind of like attempting any other throw so it can be learned it needs to be drilled and you have to have just like all of the throws uh kuzushi tsukuri and kake so first we need to understand that the japanese way of approaching uh, an ashi harai is first of all it's naname meaning diagonal it's not just passing your foot in front of you parallel and to the side no it's it's to the front it's diagonal and also shooting the hips you cannot leave your butt back and uh, it's basically a push and your foot goes par uh, sorry diagonal and across your uh, supporting foot so that's very uh, crucial because a lot of us uh, would try to just almost like try to cut uh, with the foot as if if we touch it while it is moving that's somehow it's gonna throw the entire body and that's not uh, the case I have had many instances where I would sweep uh, the foot the feet will stick together but uh, they don't fall why mainly because there's no drive with the hips and also there's no work with the arms and also the the entire body going uh, with it so here you see they're going forward they're sweeping diagonally and keeping the hips forward. So uh, there's many uh, drills to be done. You have two steps. You have one step. Here you see uh, the two step, uh, like a sugiyashi, and then diagonal, keeping the hips uh, centered and the core strong. You have to the front and to the back. So here his students are going along you can do these before the training starts you can do these at the gym before you lift weights whatever it may be it's a very easy drill to do all by yourself and it's crucial now also the same goes for deashi harai here it says deashi harai no renshu or exercises for deashi harai so if we look at the early definition of deashi harai in kodokan we see that it is when they're about to put their foot uh, down uh, and they're walking forward hence the name you sweep it forward so they kind of like uh, stepping on a banana peel so let's take a look at deashi harai and that little detail that he shows that in my opinion changes a lot of things so first you have to step to the side uh, and access going out of the axis and shooting the hips and you sweep so this is the basic form so here you step to the side and keeping the hips forward and then doing it now here this detail is amazing so here you don't see it at first but here he sweeps on the calf muscle and then does a little hop with his supporting foot giving him more drive with the hips and a way to troubleshoot the uh, foot sweep so sometimes it's not just timing sometimes it's really that drive when you're sweeping to the side and uh, it doesn't have to be like uh, kosotogari where you have to uh, remove the weight off of it and then sweep it no sometimes there's just a little bit of weight on it sometimes there's a little bit of delay whatever it may be you can always troubleshoot it kind of like uchimata where it flows naturally or a kenken uchimata where you have to hop once or twice or, or maybe a lot more 
and then you get it so here it's a little bit of a small hop very invisible that can allow you so once you cling on the side of the calf muscle close to the ankle you have that uh, support so you can do that hop with the supporting foot so here you see it's 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 you can barely see it unless you watch it many times and also hear him uh, explain it so here you go to the side out of the axis you sweep and then you do that little hop and then you continue the effort so it's de ashiharai or sorry okuri ashiharai in two steps kodokan actually does a presentation on this so if you can see they do they call it ashiharai in two steps and you can see a hop in the supporting foot it's a big hop obviously it's it's uh, foreseeable and that's not what okano wanted to do of course in randori you want to be as subtle as possible but here just to explain to you how uh, it is done but he does he, he does a very slight hop on the side so here is inoue kose doing it and notice he sticks and then hops with the supporting foot he's a bit far so hence why um it didn't work too much and also he wasn't uh, on the side he was on the other side and plus he's fighting at plus 100 here so who knows how much uh, heavier his opponent is but you can see the sticking of the foot and then uh, driving it uh, through uh, it's not kosoto gari because you're not uh, putting the weight on it and then reaping it uh, and then driving no you are sweeping troubleshooting by doing a hop and then continuing the sweeping action but uh, the way is how okano does it you have to go way to the side uh, so you have to go out of the axis which will make your foot sweep much more efficient and then do a little hop just in case so just in case you need to over troubleshoot it i should say and uh, from there you can get a proper foot sweep there's I believe truly that uh, around foot sweeping there is a few bit of misconceptions yes timing is very important creating that reaction creating that movement however it is still a throw much like all the other throws meaning you have to create a kuzushi meaning the the hand work is very subtle but yet very important so this is why you get countered when you do a terrible uchimata with no hands or a foot sweep without any handwork is because there's no kuzushi and this is the key to all throws being great regardless of any counter may it be leg grabs or whatever so if you have anything to add please let me know down below don't forget to check out my book and my patreon this was shady and thank you for listening